following video is a demonstration of the Wawasi Station Console model number JB1001. Pretty rare piece. And this one is in excellent condition. Let me show you inside and then we'll do a demonstration using a Johnson Ranger as the transmitter. Well, here it is, the seldom seen Wawasi station console. Developed for the CB band, however, could be used for ham, but it does have some limitations. It's got three sections to it. You have a watt meter. Its scales are 20, 200, or 2000 watts. And then you can go to the SWR position. You got your forward reverse and sensitivity pot. Here, you have a frequency counter, supposedly good from 100 kilohertz up to 50 megahertz. Lastly, you have the monitor scope, where you can observe your carrier and modulation characteristics. A very cool little piece, pretty compact, lightweight. Let's take a look inside. All right, we're inside of the little station console. This is your RF input board back here with some wattage adjustment calibration pots, power supply transformer, frequency counter, and here's the CRT for the monitor scope. A very clean unit. I was actually kind of shocked when I removed the top cover and saw how little there was inside versus how great it works. Pretty neat piece. Well here's the back side of the unit. You can see they call it the catalyzer model JBC 1001, although the book just says JB 1001. Looks like she was made right close to me in Indiana. Here's your radio connection, your antenna connection, and over here you see a plug for the half amp fuse, and line cord going in, but that fuse is actually inside the radio, so that must have been an afterthought. Alright, so there's the one amp fuse. It's kind of a rear shot of the catalyzer. <laughs> Super clean. I do not see any signs of past maintenance. This one is about as mint as it gets. All right, let's test it. So here's our test setup. I've got a Johnson Ranger set on the 11 meter band. We're going to be outputting approximately 40 watts into the Wawasi unit. And then my dummy load will be this Palstar unit so we can compare the wattage and see how accurate it is. Here, here we go. The Ranger is on 11 meter band. What's cool, if you go to the low power scale, turn on your VFO, you can actually see approximately a watt out of power and it displays the frequency. So if I wanted to be right on, say 27025, See, I can adjust my VFO and it tracks and updates pretty quickly. Nice little counter. I did compare this counter down on the 40 meter band. If you take a look at the specs, I'm going to put that up right now so you can see it. They say that it is good up to 50 megahertz. Okay, But when they're showing the specifications, they're only talking about the counter. You look at the top of that picture, it says counter specs is not the specs on the watt meter. I found that this unit works great on the ham bands, the monitor scope works great, the frequency counter tracks, but the watt meter is inaccurate when you leave the 11 meter band. So let's go to the 200 watt scale. Turn off my zero. Okay, now I'm going to key the Ranger. Shows about 40 watts of power. We'll compare that to my Palstar unit in a minute. You see our frequency. I'm going to bring up modulation. You can take a look at the scope over there. She's a working and getting lots of forward deflection on the watt meter. The Ranger's really talking. All right, let's compare this watt meter to the other one and see how close they are. I'm just going to dead key. I turn the audio gain all the way down. You can see I'm just shy of 40 watts here. And over there, I'm right around the 40 watt mark. So it's pretty accurate. If I were to go to the 2000 watt scale, 
See how it dives down. Still showing my 40 over there. Of course, it's pretty hard to see 40 watts on this scale because down here under 100, it's pretty broad. So I dimmed the lights in the shop so we can see the action of the monitor scope. We'll just go through the three settings here. There we are, talking there normally. It's not a big scope, I think about a three inch screen, but pretty effective. Let's check this setting. One, two. And then we have the trap setting, which is this little trapezoid thing, pretty cool. I'm not sure about the amplitude, if it's higher with more power, but a pretty neat effect. This thing appears to be 100% operational. So there you have it, a very cool demonstration of a very rare CB station monitor. The Wawasi Catalyzer.